Good morning, Sin City, and welcome to another episode of the Las Vegas Social Media Show. I'm your host, Sam Dever, sitting with the one and only, our own, Asia Jade. Asia, welcome. Thank you for having me. No, no problem. You're usually on the strip with the pink gorilla creating madness and craziness, so it's a treat to actually get you in the studio indoors. Oh, yeah, and air conditioning is always good because it's definitely hot out there. It's it's a little cloudy today, but it, 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 yeah. It's, Overcast never hurt anyone. It's a little sticky. <laughs> and uh, Actually, welcoming you to now you're going to start doing in-studio interviews and I am. co-host with me, so that that's... Exciting. Fun. Yeah, right. You ready? Are you ready for it, for the battle? I'm pretty pumped. I'm pretty <laughs> pumped. Now I, I maybe won't look like a total idiot by myself. Maybe I can have someone there, nah, too. you do a good job by yourself. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, it should be fun because you are big into social media. You're very personal. You're doing an amazing job. Uh, Thank you. Out interviewing people. We'll get to that here in a sec. Uh, but real quick, in a nutshell, for people that don't know you, who are you? I'm everything. Um, a model, freelance photographer, a shower singer. Um, I also nice. working with a little bit of broadcast journalism, as I am with the show, um, and hosting. Definitely trying to break into more of a voice than just a face. Um, I've been known as a pretty face and raw artist. Don't really want that anymore. Um, I love participating in their events, but. I need to start doing things that involve my voice because I've been told it's very personable and I have a good personality. You definitely do. do you, now, do you feel modeling has definitely helped you build some of those connections oh, yeah. to oh. use that voice? Yeah, definitely. The networking, I mean, once they see me on stage, they're just like, wow, that girl can walk. Even though she's not 5'10", she can walk like she's 5'10". But then I open my mouth and they're like, whoa, where'd this voice come from? You're loud, but you're not trying to be. And a lot of people really dig it. They really like who I'm about, and I'm very upfront, and I'm mm-hmm. definitely one person who will tell you the truth. You're not shy. No, not at all. Not at all. Especially not put all. a microphone in your hand. Oh, you? of course. I'll I'll say anything. <laughs> <laughs> anything? anything. 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 And real quick about the, I, I, we've actually gone to a couple of your uh, modeling gigs or fashion shoots. I didn't realize how quick they were. Yes, it's there's like very, this huge buildup, and there's and, nothing wrong with it. And then there's that. a quick turnaround, and then it's like 15 <laughs> seconds, and then it's done. I'm like, yeah. whoa! It happens so fast. It's like the fireworks almost. Pretty much. You wait, yeah. and then, but it's cool. And we practice really. We practice backstage. We practice our walks. We practice our looks. We practice our poses, all for those 15 seconds. Wow. Yeah. Very cool. So you've been doing interviews on the strip for the last couple months. Can you kind of take me through that? How's it been? What's been your experience? What your feedback? Uh, My first one, I was absolutely nervous. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. And I, you know, kind of gave myself a pep talk on my drive up there. I was like, all right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to just talk to people as if you're at a party and you just gave them a whole bunch of alcohol. (laughs) That's what you're going to do. Because for some reason, that's where I'm comfortable. I love making people feel like they should be a part of the party. And even though I wasn't a part of it, I wanted to kind of resonate that into the people that I was interviewing. So and that's kind of what it is. Yeah, it is and a I party. pick and choose. And I can pick and right. choose. I can pick the sober guy with the cowboy hat or I could pick the drunken mess walking down the street. <laughs> I mean, it can go either way, but either way, I'm still going to get a great interview because it's how you talk to the people, not what you talk to them about. And that's one thing I've noticed watching. I mean, it seems... There's not too much negativity on the strip, really, at all. No. Like from what I've seen, and it just seems people are really always. They're in Vegas, yeah. So they're already Vegas. There's yeah, <laughs> Vegas. They're always so happy. So I mean, it seems that you're able to bring out that they the camera shyness goes away. Oh yeah, really quick, and they just immediately start laughing, talking. It's like the camera's not even there. Pretty much, and that's how I try to make people feel. I don't want them to feel like they're doing work. I want them to feel, you know, natural. I want them to be in their element, so to speak. You have a particular favorite interview? Oh man, there's a couple. couple. <laughs> there's uh, of all there was the Gorilla Girl. I mean, she just lost her mind. She was from Brazil, and she really. Takes, she takes these pictures all over the world of posing like gorillas. I mean, it's I've, I, th- I want to say this correctly, macaco doido in Portuguese, which means crazy monkey. And this girl, she came out of nowhere. The woodworks, we were doing a random interview. She comes out of nowhere and starts acting like a monkey. We had the pink gorilla with us. He lost his mind. She lost his mind. We all lost our minds. And she was really energetic. Her energy, I kind of needed it that night. Yeah. It's kind of a dim night. No one was really trying to respond. And she definitely livened it up. And it made me more energetic. Energize. And then that night we got a whole bunch of interviews with uh, Critical Mass and we ran into some of my friends downtown and it just it kind of started 
to pick up from there. And I was like, okay, this is going to be a good night. Absolutely. Yeah. And I know I've been there a couple of times and you know pretty much everybody. We can be. I've worked in a lot of places. It doesn't matter <laughs> where. Hey! I don't know where. I just, I'm very sociable. I'm a social butterfly. I love talking to people. I don't, I no holds bar. I mean, really, if you open your mouth, I'm going to talk to you. Why? Because you're interesting. Everyone is interesting in their own way. Everyone has a story to tell and every everyone's been through something. And that probably makes sense that you're into interviewing and oh, yeah. you know you want to know their story. Oh, I love being a nosy nose. I love being in people's business. Not, you know, priding and pricking, but I like to know what you'll tell me. Absolutely. Well, Asia, thank you so much uh, for all the work you've done. You're doing an excellent job. Thank you. We're excited for the in studio. So am I. We're growing. I can't wait. We're getting bigger. We're getting More big. More people are finding it. So I'm excited to where this is all going. Uh, can you leave us on what's your favorite part about social media? Favorite part about social media is the fact that it's free and networking with social media. You can't beat it. I mean, you can pay thousands of dollars for an agent to help you out with a website, but if you just get on Facebook and make a shout out, people will start taking recognition. And it's just, it's so simple. That's how I started three and a half years ago. I started from nothing and now I'm in studio. Absolutely. The <laughs> beauty of social media. Where can, where can they find you? Uh, Facebook backslash Asia Jade, Instagram at Craptastic. And you can find me on Twitter, Lela underscore Blossom. All right. Well, Asia Jade, thank you so much. We're looking forward to the future. I'm very excited. All righty. This is the Las Vegas Social Media Show.